do you live in an area where the crime is just not what you expected it to be? And now you're looking at Raleigh, North Carolina and wondering the same exact thing just so you don't make a big mistake or another mistake and put yourself in a situation or a location where you do not like it for whatever reason. Here on today's video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're going to I'm going to share with you some tools that's going to be able to help you identify not only this city, but down to the neighborhood, down to this street. What's going on, everybody? It's Ronnie Polonese here. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. And while I have your attention, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and the bell so you are notified every time I do a video sharing with you exactly what it's like to live, eat in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, just as much as I enjoy making these videos, I am a licensed realtor here in North Carolina. So if you do have any questions, you do have any sort of real estate needs that you need help with, Go ahead, my number's gonna pop up right there. Give me a call, shoot me a text, email, day or night. Heck, maybe even on the weekends. Just remember, I got your back in this market. Now, let's get after it and let's go find out which area is best fit for you. What even inspired this entire video here? I was actually just looking through the news, trying to keep up to date with what's going on in the Raleigh area. And then I came across this one article that stated, Cary, North Carolina is one of the safest places in the United States. And it's shocking, I'm sure. And I said, holy moly, what, where did that come from? What even, where's the stat coming from? Where's the data? Like what's even giving all this out? So then that is what enabled me to go ahead and take a look at their article, newsletter, wherever you want to call it. And that's when I found this source here. And, you know, pretty much not to go through the entire thing. One thing that I found really unique throughout this entire thing is one source they called Good Hire. I've never heard of them before, but it's a background check company. And what I found extremely unique about it is the fact that they are using the FBI's crime data to determine the safest and the least safe cities in in the entire country. So that made me do a deep dive. And I was like, you know what? I think everybody needs to know about this because I know I'm not the only one that didn't know about this. So we're actually going to go ahead and check it out. And here is exactly what it stated in terms of the safest cities in North, well, not even in North Carolina, in America. So take a look at this list here and use it, right? Use it to your beneficial. This is a website that is available to everyone. And just this answer can answer a lot of people's questions of, hey, is it safe or is it unsafe in Raleigh, North Carolina? Granted, it doesn't state Raleigh, North Carolina here, which I think was really interesting. It does state carry. But as I scroll down, you're going to see something that is extremely unique. You can take a look at this because I think this is important to take a look at what are the least safest <laughs> per se. But this is what I found really interesting. And sure enough, where do you find? You find Raleigh being there as one of the safest, which it is a larger city in comparison to Cary. And so I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that article, this article in itself, just the data that they're collecting, good hire is collecting is helpful for everyone to really understand like, hey, where are the safe and not safe areas? Because of course, nobody wants to put themselves in a situation where now they can't turn around or they can't get out of them get can't get out that situation to begin with. So this is why I want to share this with you guys, but we're not going to end it there. You know, and the only reason why we're not going to end it there is because of course, me being me, I did some more digging. And the only reason why I did the more digging is because I think the more information, the person with the most information is always going to win. I don't care what scenario, I don't care what's the situation, whoever has the information is going to win. So I was like, you know what? Yes, this is one source that's saying Cary and of course Raleigh, North Carolina being on that list, but how about specific neighborhoods? How about like, how do we figure out that information? So this is what led me to this resource here, spotcrime.com. 
So spot crime is something that I typically share with all my clients. So if you're a client of mine, you probably already know about this. And this is a website I share specifically because it shows you on a daily basis what's happening in the area. Here I have Raleigh, North Carolina specifically. But if we were to zoom out and let's just say, you know, let's go check out what's going on in Cary, right? You can take a look literally what's happening in Cary. Let me just refresh this. And we can see right there what's going on. It tells you literally the time, the date. Of course, this is an older one. Well, let's go ahead and view those crimes. And as you can see, right, you got the time, you got the date, you got the type of crime that it was. And it tells you literally the area. And I think this tool right here is extremely important, extremely helpful, because it gives people an idea of, you know, what's really going on down to the neighborhood, down to the street. And that's really where we find out if this is a place for you to be. Now, I will say, crime happens everywhere. It's something that I'm sorry, but we cannot avoid. If it was up to me, I would love to just get it all out the way, but you have human behavior. There's really nothing much, there's really nothing that we all can do. That's why we have police. That's why we have the police officers and someone to man manage and try to mitigate all the type of risks and the bad behavior that goes on out there. So, of course, you're going to see crime. You're going to see some, you're going to see those things all over North Carolina. And this is nothing to shy away from. It happens everywhere. If you know of a place that it doesn't happen in, please let me know because I'll be more than curious to see how, what the heck are they doing in that city, in that county, in that state to ideally understand, hey, how does crime not happen there? So don't get freaked out. Even if you see an area where it's like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? I think the magnitude of what really we can digest from this, all this information is how much does it, how often, right? So how frequently and what is the type of crime that is operating there? Now, if it's something's really small, then of course you can kind of push it away. But if it's something alerting, like, you know, I'm not going to say what, but you know <laughs> what could be kind of alerting, um, then of course you can kind of take that into consideration because then that may not be a fit for you, your family, whoever else is tagging along. But this is why you reach out. Because I do this research and I understand these areas and I have all the tools to make sure that I am helping you. You know, we get on these phone calls with potential and clients, Zoom calls specifically, and I, you share with me the few things that you like, you dislike, and a few things that you want to be close to. And with that information, I'm able to kind of gather everything and hey, put you, literally put you into the location down to the neighborhood and down to the street. This is what I do. You know, so don't forget to reach out to me because that's the only way that I can help you. But let's continue on. Let's go check out Apex. Just so you guys can kind of see and get familiarized with how does this thing even work anyways. And there you go. You got a few crimes there. A few things going on. Of course, you're going to have it. <laughs> Nothing we can avoid. I mean, let's go take a look now to see when did those occur. Oh, look at that. You had one a few days ago. <laughs> so. Of course, they're all there. Um, let's see what happens in Morrisville. Um, doo -doo -doo. There you go. All right. And this is really just to give yourself an idea of how the platform works, how it operates. So when you're going to use it yourself, you know, you could then go ahead and have access to it and understand what's going on, because this is the best thing that you're going to be able to do and use to your disposal. Um, but I didn't want to stop there. I actually want to take a deeper dive and show you guys something that I think is even more powerful. So this is like, you know, spot crime is one of my secondaries that I typically use. But if I really want to get really close and niche down to the neighborhood, to the street, like I said, this is the source that I use. And it is right here, Neighborhood Scout. So what I typically do, and of course, after having that conversation with the client or potential client, I'll get an understanding of where is it that they're even looking at. And this is what enables me to really help narrow down exactly where they need to be. Because this map right here literally highlights all of Raleigh, North Carolina. And it will literally show you within the map in itself. The darker areas, obviously, more crime. The lighter areas is less of crime. So there you go. There you have it there. And so you can see it right here. There's the... Um, there's the guideline that shows you right there and shows you exactly where. So this is how I figure out, hey, where should a client really, really be? And this is, of course, based off of their lifestyle, what they like to do, what they don't like to do. And this is what it looks like all in Raleigh. So I'll go over some, I'll hover over some of the areas just so you can guys can take a look at it. But 
this is ultimately why you reach out. <laughs> you, if you want to do all this work, by all means. But you know, this work is typically what I typically do for anyone that reaches out, reaches out to me and tells me exactly what they want. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're, let's go into another area. I know we looked at Carrie already, but let's look at Carrie again and see how does the crime even look there? Because this is this actually is stated as the number one city to be in in America. Well, number one safest, I should say. Not the number one city to be in, but the number one safest city in America. So let's figure out why. And here you can kind of see. It's not too much, but it occurs, of course, because it's something we just cannot avoid. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to go over this too much. I'll go ahead and leave this in the description below in the link so that you can have access to it and that you can go ahead and do this research. You can even take a look at it yourself. I really, really, really Hope this was helpful because I know I get this question a lot and it's always, hey, Ronnie, what's the crime in the area? I'm not allowed to steer in any direction. I can only provide you with data and information that helps you make a decision on what, where is a place that you should or should not be in. So this is how I do my research as well because I don't, I'm not boots on the ground finding every single crime that happens. There's no way. I don't have enough ears, I don't have enough eyes, I don't have enough feet to do all of that. So this is why I leverage the resources that we already have at our disposal and to help me help others make a good decision on where they would like to be. Now, I did not go over specific areas and I didn't do that intentionally because I would love for you guys to take a look at the map yourself and kind of get an understanding of where does the crime happen most? What should you stay away from? What should you be closer to? Whatever your scenario even looks like. But if you do have specific areas, please leave it in the comments below so that I can go ahead and look that up for you or better yet, just make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, email, day or night. My number is going to pop up right there. Use it, guys, because this is the best way for you to get that more information that you're looking for, or seeking for, to make sure that you, yourself, whoever else is tagging along with you to Raleigh, North Carolina, makes a good decision on where they should be sleeping their head at night. Because we all want to sleep peacefully. Until next time, guys. Peace out.